few months back, I ran into this cute girl named Melissa at the park. I ended up talking to her and I even got her number, but I accidentally wrote it down wrong and none of the texts were going through. Luckily, fate was on our side and I ran into her once more. We started texting back and forth and after a while, I even worked up the courage to ask her out on a date. We instantly hit it off and had so much in common that talking was so easy. Fast forward to today and we have been going on dates for a month or so and things have been going great. Tonight, we're gonna go to the carnival and for the very first time, I'm gonna bring you guys along and give you guys a peek into our relationship. Hope you guys enjoy this juicy romantic episode. What's up Carter's Life? I am here at the fair. We could do bumper cars, we could do the Mickey Mouse ride, we could do these crazy flipping upside down ones. Look at that. Wow. You don't think you would do any other ride? Oh, I could do the Mighty Mouse. That's for you. You would do Mighty Mouse? I think so. Here it goes. Mighty Mouse. I definitely want to see the tractor racing over here. Because I think these tractors Maybe that one? They do like tractor pulls. That's a crazy sport. Kind of sounds silly, but I think it's really cool because a lot of engineering and horsepower and mechanics that go into it. Yeah, I think it would be pretty cool to see in real life. But yeah, that's a regular tractor right there. And then these are the crazy modified upgrade super tractors. Whoa, what is that? That thing looks crazy. What in the world is that? Okay, that tractor or truck, I don't even know what you call it. Little Red, that thing looks so cool. <gasps> Look at that one. Running Bear and that one. Oh, these are all so cool. This one's convertible. Whoa, that one's cool too. They're all so unique. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is that noise? That sounds like something breaking. So one of the most popular things that they have at the NC State Fair are these giant turkey legs. I'm kind of holding it all bundled up, but like, it's literally like bigger than Melissa's head. But we're gonna bite right into it and try it. It's so funny, it's literally just a giant drumstick. <laughs> Is it good? It's really good. It's just a huge piece of meat, which is great. I feel like it's relatively healthy. Everything else here is like deep fried and stuff, and I love that. If you want something that's like, you know, got the gains, that protein in there, get a big old chicken leg, probably weighs like two pounds. I think we need to get scared. Yeah, probably. Okay, well behind us is called The Haunted. I thought it was a maze at first, but I think it's like a ride when we sit. Yeah, I think we just sit in it and we go inside. So you, you think you're like going to be brave and not get scared and scream? Well, the point is to get scared and scream, so hopefully you do. So hopefully you do scare. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I like the way you think. Yeah. I hope I get so scared that I see my pants. I mean, <laughs> scream. I would never do that. I'm brave. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> okay. We're going up. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, good luck. It looks scary already. Oh. All right, we're ready? Am I gonna fit? Oh, I fit. Oh, there's warning signs. Okay, we gotta stay. Oh my gosh, look at the door. Oh, that was okay, it's already. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Uh -oh. It's literally so dark. I feel like it's not working. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It was black the whole time. Yeah, the whole time. The whole time. Alright, well, I did scream at the start. It did surprise you. So we went into the door. Yeah, so we went into the door. That was the scary. That was so dumb. Alright, well, we got 16 more credits. Excuse me. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, for sure. Hey, What's up, man? Alright, next up, we're playing All this. Alright, like... players, have you got ready? Toss in ball run. Okay. Go for it. Go, 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 go. You gotta get any five in a row. Ball number two. Wait, that's ball one. Ball two. got cold out and Melissa got cold so I'm such a gentleman. I took off my jacket and I gave it to her so she's double jacketed up. Are you ready? Uh, we're gonna go after this kid. I'm about to win a hundred dollars to make some money. So the challenge with these is that the bar rotates which makes it a lot more difficult. You ready? Three, two, one, go! Only 60 more seconds. No! How far did I make it? 54. So it's about half. Yeah. Oh, I failed. I'm like 
trembling right now. That's actually a really good job. Oh. You did better than anyone else though. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so I made it. I made it halfway. Yeah. Okay. So I gotta do a little bit of training, and then I'll uh, win. That'll be super romantic. Yeah. <laughs> and we are going up and stopping. You can see Raleigh. Whoa, we can see the whole fair from up here. This is awesome. We made a little like detour off this road and we are on a place that is so swampy right next to the road and there's all kinds of crazy stuff swimming around and then we saw a bunch of turtles and we're gonna drive down a little bit further and we're gonna keep our eyes peeled for an alligator. Oh, I see them. Okay, there's an interesting looking turtle and I think he's gonna probably jump. Oh my gosh, we are jumping because we have the national alert hitting. I just happened to be vlogging right now. What are the chances? I saw this all over the news. Oh. I'm so surprised me. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be right now. But yeah, it was one central or eastern. Okay, that turtle didn't hear it apparently, so we are still on board to see this crazy turtle. Let's see if it moves. He looks like he's standing on an alligator. Yeah. Look, that's like a baby turtle right there on that one. <gasps> he's got his legs hanging out behind him. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the alligators, turtles? What are they looking at? <laughs> oh, there's something in the water right there. Next to the log, it looks like a snake head, or maybe it's just another turtle. Oh, it just went under. Seriously? <gasps> yes. I didn't see it. Oh, oh I see it. Oh, that was an alligator. It's still moving. You see it? Yeah, I do. You think that's an alligator? Yeah. Next to the log, right? Yes. I got a, such a good clip of that. I'm really tempted to go out. I'm afraid the horse flies are gonna whack us. That's what you're afraid of? Yeah. <laughs> we pulled off the road and there's like these horse flies whacking the windshields. Oh, I see a gator. I can I can defend myself. I've seen, enough, I've seen enough crocodile hunter back in the day. I wrestled an eight foot gator in my backyard. Let's not forget that. <laughs> Roll the clip. Okay, we're on top of a gator right now. I'm basically resting. I can feel him breathing. This thing is so big. It's got so much power. <laughs> I jumped on top of me, you'd be so impressed. <laughs> oh, I saw something moving back there. This is like a turtle sanctuary. Yeah, maybe it was just Plenty of food for a gator to eat. You think they eat turtles? Yeah, I think they eat all kinds of stuff. Fish, turtles. People? I bet they're like out here, but they're not like super duper common where you see them everywhere. That would be my guess. Oh, what is that? It might be a snake. There's something next to the dog here. Is it just a turtle? There's a turtle there and a turtle, oh. Do you see that? Yeah. I think it's a turtle, but it could be a snake. Guys, what is that? It's crawling. It, could it be a gator? There's no way it's a gator. Oh, it's got arms. It has arms. Oh, it's a turtle. He's trying Aww. to climb. There's a little baby on the edge. You see the baby right here? Oh, he's a... That's so cute. Oh, he hit the baby and knocked it in the water. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to crawl out. <laughs> Those turtles are cool. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna keep driving. We didn't see any gators here in. Oh, alligator. Oh, we found a pothole. <laughs> uh, but we are gonna drive across Alligator River, which is a massive river, and we're gonna be living cutting straight through it. So we'll keep you posted on that. We are about to hit Alligator River Marina. So maybe we could see alligators up here. And we're about to cross. <gasps> They even have an alligator on the sign right there. Oh wait, this gas station's called Alligator. <laughs> Look at this, that's crazy. It's literally called Alligator and people will have boats going in the water with the gators. Oh, it's kind of windy and choppy out here. We're going across a huge bridge. So this is literally called Alligator River. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Yeah. This is kind of scary. <laughs> We're off on this huge bridge. I mean, if they can't call it out an Alligator River if there aren't alligators right. just everywhere. Alligator River. <laughs> we made it to the beach, yes! 
Oh, look at that. This is exactly what I saw at the beach the last time I was here. Did not see the mama turtle, but I saw, this is what I saw, the little babies crawl into the ocean. That's what I saw. That was it, the exact image. They're so cute. No swimming. Whoa, there's a red flag that says no swimming. Shoot. It's dangerous I came here to swim. Whoa, that's crazy. Just got to the beach, two jets, all the signs, all up and down the coast are saying no swimming, no swimming. I feel like something suspicious is going on. <laughs> Guys, something is actually definitely going on. Melissa was just pointing out, these guys are turned opposite. They're staring at the hill, the ocean's right here. And then over here, this guy is doing the same thing. He's staring off that way, but the ocean's right here. That's so crazy, because if I came to the beach, I want to look at the water, so I don't get what's going on. Gosh, it looks gorgeous out here. We made it to the Outer Banks and just barely in time for sunset. You can see it's setting, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And then we're gonna go over there and have dinner right on the water. I'm so excited. We made it out to Jockey's Ridge, which is in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. And this place looks like we're in, like on a different planet. The sand dunes are insane. And we're literally out here on the Outer Banks on like a little island. Wow, this is amazing. It just keeps going. <laughs> it's so cool. So we're gonna try to hike all the way up to the top. See if we can get ocean views and sound views see all the way around and the sand the color of the sand is really interesting it's more like yellow or orange or something than the sand on the beach and i think we're also right nearby where the wright brothers flew the first ever airplane that's pretty cool what do you think of the sand dunes Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're being shy that's all i have to say about that <laughs> it's getting windy as we go up higher and they just keep on going. So we think the highest peak is either this one or this one where people are. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> Feels like we're on Mars or something. Jupiter, maybe. So over here is the sound, which is like the intracoastal. And then you pivot around 180 degrees. You see the beach houses and that's the beach. So this is Jockey's Ridge National Park. This is not where the Wright brothers first flew. That's just a few minutes up the road. We're gonna try to potentially go there next. But this place is amazing. All I'm thinking about is riding dirt bikes and ATVs, which is crazy route. I think it would be so fun. So I wanna go over to these uh, hang gliders and see what's up. This is so cool. My goodness. Don't tell me I can pay this guy to take me on a flight. <laughs> Oh, I would, be, I would totally do it. No way. Oh, wait, he's going. He's about to fly. Oh my gosh, he's flying. Like the Wright brothers. Oh my gosh. That is too cool. Oh, that's awesome. Have you done that before? No, I would. Is this your hang glider? one of the smallest gliders. Okay. Um, the glider I own probably go over 10 times, 15 times so than this. Really? And I can go over 75 miles per hour. Uh, so if so you were to have that one out here, you'd be able to go far or how would so that? So it all depends on conditions as well. Okay. At altitude, I'll be able to do that. Okay. Um, here it could probably go almost the distance. This thing looks insane. It's literally a wing that makes a human fly. I want to go down. We are about to see a human take flight. Like a wing, that's crazy. I guess if humans had wings and they were like birds and they flew, their wingspan would be something similar to what these kites look like, roughly. Yeah. He's getting ready for flight. Okay. Here he goes. So you start by running and then you get your flight. Oh, he got it. Nice. He's flying. That is insane. And coming in for a landing. Oh. Wow, 
That was awesome. I gotta say, just watching him fly right there gave me an insight of how technical the skill must be of learning how to fly and catch the wind and go down the hill. I don't think it's like something you just hop in and just go. I think there is definitely a learning. So I'm gonna have to sign up for a course. And I'm gonna fly. Let's go. Are we gonna do it? It literally just is starting to rain, which is crazy because I mean, there's clouds above us, but just the single cloud is just, oh my gosh, it's starting to dump. <laughs> We're gonna get wrecked. About to get completely wrecked. Not in the forecast at all. No rain all week. This is a fluke. We're right on the edge of it, too. Oh my gosh. So the sand dunes end right there, and now it's like a forest. It's like grass growing. We got trees. This is really cool. You can see where we just were. We were all the way up there. And then we hiked all the way around to here. Now we are in like the forested area of this place. Way cooler down here. It was good. Whoa, this is cool. Look at the view through here. It looks like the ocean, but that's not. That's the bayside. It's so pretty. It just drops into it. Yeah. Oh, something just jumped in the water. Huge. Oh. <gasps> It was something massive. We gotta go down there. Maybe it was a shark or an alligator. Did you see that thing jump? Mm -hmm. Just out there. Did you catch it? In my eyes, I did. <laughs> I don't think I caught it with the camera. It's so calm and flat out there. Gotta test the water. It's not like warm, warm, but it's probably warmer than the ocean a few degrees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's colder the slower you go. Yeah, you kind of just like plop in. Oh, There's a jellyfish. There's actually another one. Oh, there's a, an entirely full one with stingers on it right here. Look at that. Should I touch it? Yeah. Ew. Whoa. Boing. It's so jelly. And this one's alive. It's still swimming. That is the fullest jellyfish I've ever seen. We're kind of lucky we didn't get stung when we were standing in there. <laughs> I wasn't looking out for jellyfish. I wasn't either. There's a one in there. Let's see, there's all kinds of stuff in this water. And I saw something jump. I want to say it might have been like a shark because it was kind of big. I this is stung by one time. Stung by one of these guys? A jellyfish. <laughs> He's like, stop poking me. <laughs> I wonder if we can redirect him. Isn't it crazy how the inside's red? These are animals, did you know that? Yeah. Animals with no brains. I know. Like that. How is that related to us? <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, a little crab reached out and touched me. I can see it right here. Okay. This guy came out and touched my toe. Told me to back off. He's like in the water right here. Mm. Oh, he went under. Mm. Well, this guy's coming at me. That's a baby. This one, yeah, he's coming towards me right now. Yeah, he's trying to attack. He is. He's mad he poked him so much. <laughs> Maybe he thought it was a massage. <laughs> he probably liked it. He doesn't have eyes or a brain, so he's not thinking too much. He was a super baby. I don't think they're doing so hot if they're all the way up on the edge here. Oh my gosh, look at this monstrous one. Whoa. That is the big daddy with tentacles all the way out of here. Oh my god. That is crazy. Maybe this is why no one's here. Because of this guy. <laughs> this <is> <laughs> yeah. This is his sound. <laughs> yeah. That might be. I kind of want to touch it and see what it would feel like. But I'm probably not going to do that. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, maybe. I mean, a black one's kind of cool. So on this entire trip, I packed a ton of stuff, but I only packed three t-shirts. So this, I'm down to my last one. So we're here to buy some... It was like a Jeep. That's cool. Ooh, I love it. I think that's the one. Let's get it. I like it. Okay, one for you, one for me. Wow. We now made it out here to Duck, which is another place in Outer Banks. And we're on the sound side, and the views of this boardwalk are incredible. You have all these shops the whole way up, and you have amazing views the sun is about to set and we're right on time because we're gonna get an outdoor seating at the table it's gonna be beautiful
Dinner was great. When I looked out the window, I saw something moving through the water and I swear it was like a Megalodon shark fin. I'm thinking like maybe it wasn't, maybe it was like a jet ski. It didn't look like it. It actually looked freaky to me. No one else saw it. It was right out there. I zoomed in as best as I could, but you can kind of see it was like a triangle shape. Could have been a boat. I don't know what it was, but it was right out there somewhere.